Hello everybody, this is David. Welcome back to my channel. Well, I'm in Queensferry in Scotland. What am I doing here, you might be asking? Well, it's a very special day. It's a historic day for my family. Uh, as you can see, probably over my shoulder in the background is HMS British Wales. Our son is on that ship. It's his first time at sea. So I'm here to witness the event historic moment in our family and uh, Queensferry is quite an amazing place actually. It's unique in the world in that there are three bridges from three different centuries crossing the river for the fourth and birth here and um, the bridge furthest away is the latest Queensferry crossing opened in uh, 2017 the next one between that uh, here is the fourth road bridge which was opened in 1964 the same year I was born and just over there I'm going to film, turn the camera around so you can see just over there is the fourth rail bridge which was opened in 1890 so this is a historic place unique in the world HMS Prince of Wales is a, well it's not quite a unique ship because there is one other in its class, the Queen Elizabeth, but it's the epitome of naval technology. So uh, it's a really good place for that ship to be uh, setting sail on its first journey, its first voyage. And um, what I wanted to do today is to essentially send it off with prayer. Uh, I was at the um, uh, Freedom of the City of Bristol parade in June and I was went to the service in Bristol Cathedral and uh, I have the booklet with me still and I want to read some of the prayers and read some of the words of the hymns that were sung. You know man generally trusts in technology and this ship is the height of technology but essentially we cannot put our trust in technology we can only put our trust in the Lord Jesus Christ and as this ship goes by today I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray for it I'm going to read the prayers that were prayed over the ship and its crew her crew should I say uh, in the uh, Cathedral of Bristol. So thank you for joining me. Um, next time the camera's on, uh, the ship will be in view, hopefully going under the uh, the uh, or the Queen's Ferry Crossing, which is the the newest bridge. HMS Prince of Wales is now underway. I don't know if any other parents are believers, but please join me as I pray for our boys and girls as they serve on board in the words of the hymn written by William Whiting. Eternal Father, strong to save, whose arm doth bind the restless wave, who bids the mighty ocean deep its own appointed limits keep. O oh, hear us when we cry to thee for those in peril on the sea. O oh, Saviour, whose almighty word the winds and waves submissive heard, who walkest on the foaming deep and calm amid its rage did sleep. O oh, hear us when we cry to thee, for those in peril on the sea. O oh, sacred spirit who didst brood upon the chaos dark and rude, who bade its angry tumult cease, and gave us light and life and peace. O oh, hear us when we cry to thee, for those in peril on the sea. O oh, trinity of love and power, our brethren shield in danger's hour. From rock and tempest, fire and foe, protect them wheresoever they go, and ever let their rise to thee, glad hymns of praise from land and sea. Amen. That's a good pray, prayer to pray for our boys and girls as they start, and for the ship itself that's had a rocky start. May this be the start of its 50-year service life. She's just about to pass under the Queen's Ferry crossing. 
Please join me in the words of Luke chapter 8 verses 22 to 25. I give thanks to the Lord for he is gracious, for his steadfast love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say this, those he redeemed from the hand of the enemy and gathered out of the lands from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south, those who go down to the sea in ships and ply their trade in great waters. These have seen the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. For at his word the stormy wind arose and lifted up the waves of the sea. They were carried up to the heavens and down again to the deep. Their soul melted away in their peril. They reeled and staggered like a drunkard and were at their wit's end. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he brought them out of their distress. He made the storm be still, and the waves of the sea were calmed. Then they were glad because they were at rest, and he brought them to the haven they desired. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and the wonders he does for his children. Let them exalt him in the congregation of the people and praise him in the council of the elders. She's just going under the fourth road bridge. Join me in this prayer. Eternal Lord God, who alone spreadeth out the heavens and rulest the raging of the sea, who has compassed the waters with bounds until day and night come to an end, be pleased to receive into thy almighty and most gracious protection the persons of us thy servants and the fleet in which we serve. Preserve us from the dangers of the sea and of the air and from the violence of the enemy, that we may be a safeguard unto our most gracious sovereign, King Charles and his dominions, and a security for such as pass on the seas upon their lawful occasions, that the inhabitants of our island and commonwealth may in peace and quietness serve thee, our God, and that may we, we return in safety to enjoy the blessings of the land with the fruits of our labours and with a thankful remembrance of your mercies, to praise and glorify your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Go before us, O Lord, in all your doings, with thy most gracious favour, and further with us thy continual help, that in all our works, begun, continued, and ended in thee, we may glorify thy holy name, and finally, by thy mercy, obtain everlasting life, through Jesus Christ our Lord.
pray the Lord's Prayer, she goes under the fourth railway bridge. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. HMS Prince of Wales has, has left. May God bless her and may God bless all who sail in her. Well, thank you for joining me in this video. See you next time. Bye bye.